Hello and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. In case you don't remember, we're a jerk, or I'm a jerk, or you jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh. Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. <laughs> but, geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? Oh, she looks so cute. Oh, look at that little face on her. That <laughs> little face when she's talking about being small. That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. H hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you treat me like... Uh, uh. Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki. Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologise. Yeah. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Ash. Natsuki smiles deviously, deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied, satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. That just shows that they're doing it right. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. Spilled fluid? First of all, that sounds gross, the phrasing, but... How many people spill fluid when they're baking? Flour, yeah. Hmm. I'm sure I must have done when I was younger, obviously, but... She's not that small. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Ash, where did you put the food colouring? The batter's going in the oven soon 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 The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To colour the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different colour. That way, even if the flavours aren't different, everyone can still pick their favourite. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's a cute idea. Aww. Suddenly, for a moment, we synced up. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food colouring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you just look at it. If... <sighs> it's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cup. <sighs> I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monika's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I'll use the food colouring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food colouring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? 
Well, yeah. It would just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Okay, I'll continue doing it like that. Just trying to sync up with my character. Hey, look! Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it! After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasise, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. M mouse? She, yeah, she brought a pet mouse with her and she fed it icing, because that's what you do with mice, clearly. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hope their fingers are clean. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! <laughs> I'd like to see you try! I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causing me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Lick it off. No. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my face. Close enough. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. <laughs> Stop! This looks a bit dodgy. Is that against a wall or the floor? Because, like, it should be against a wall, but I don't think the walls in there were like that. Not until you apologise for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do it to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Oh, I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth licking off the icing. What? what, what? D did you seriously just... Uh... Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. <laughs> Her face is entirely red. Oh well, no, it's just these bits are slightly, slightly pinker. Well, it's pink's her hair, more on the red side, but... Ash, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls. Unless you really like them. You know that, right? Mm. What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Yeah, see, these walls are... It's not, uh, they're not the same colours, so unless they've got a feature wall that side. I suppose. It's possible. Well, presumably they're standing at the counter. I don't, uh, I don't understand. Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. Huff! <laughs> no wonder... You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. They're both slightly at fault here, I suppose. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven, then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are already pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different coloured cupcakes in each of the trays. They're looking better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. Or, right. 
but you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Yeah. Like, happy birthday, or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Yeah. Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Oh, a bit like the words that I get when I'm trying to write a poem. Ugh. Hmm? Actually, probably... Probably some of those words really shouldn't be on cupcakes. Don't really want a cupcake that says suicide. Pretty sure that's one of the ones. Point taken, anyway. P point taken? Point... Point expressed. Ex expressed. <sighs> Maybe I need some espresso. <sighs> I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. W what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. W well... Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? No, no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before. Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. That sounded a bit more Sayori. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she were here, she would probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry something, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her, like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before, about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Ash, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ugh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same as you, so... Ugh. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-coloured cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. They're not slightly parted. What is this? What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it. For a while now. Mm. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori? Eh? Uh, 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 hi, Ash. Sayori? Just now, we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Ash. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh, well, y you should have come a little earlier. 
I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. It's swapping between these two voices that hurts my throat. Mm. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Siuri waves goodbye. Siuri, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Haha, <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. How I bit my tongue. Oh, that's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Siori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Ash? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Siori, don't say that. It's true, Ash. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monika was right. I should just... Monika? Monika was right about what? Hmm. Siori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but... Siori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Ash. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Siori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Siori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. A Ash, I hug you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Siori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Siori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Siori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh. Siori. Oh, shit! What do I pick? Uh. I, I would... I would probably say, in this situation, I love you. But it wouldn't necessarily mean the same thing. Oh god, what do I do? You'll always be my dearest friend. Uh, you know, I'm gonna save. I didn't need to, need to save it there. Okay. Okay. I can change it later when I want to replay it. But... You'll always be my dearest friend. You'll always be my dear dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. How do you know that? Monika told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. Why is that going to help? Why do you think that will help? She's already said that she's been struggling with it for years. I'm confused. I... I see. Siri forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Oh, I should write a poem about this. Siri, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings, for fuck's sake, Hogko. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're always right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realise that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Ash. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, 
Siri's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loud as she can. I'm so shocked I don't know how to react. <sighs> Siri looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Siri! I'm left helplessly standing in front of in the front of my house. No, you run after her, you idiot. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? Because you're not running after her, for fuck's sake. There's nothing more that I could have done. Yeah, you could have run after her. <sighs> the most I can do is support Sierra through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. Well, I guess so. He's, he's right about one thing. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sierra's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more, or something different. You have the internet, right? You can at least get help from people there. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I hate to break it to you, but they're never going to be completely back to the way they were. You might think they are, she might manage to convince you they are, but they're not. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sherry will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. You already do. Like, maybe not a genuine smile, but you do. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Is it, though? Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking tr two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. More excited for what to be over? Oh, the recital and stuff. I don't know. But knowing Winika, I'm sure the event will be great too. Oh, right, the event. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Ash, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monika is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monika would like and submitted it. So, that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayuri with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayuri told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Yes. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Ash. I mean, especially after her exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monika, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sierra really tell her about it that quickly? Well, clearly. How else would she know? And about how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monika is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. Clearly, because that's why you made them. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognise Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Yuri's poem. Oh, is it the new one she wrote? It's different from the one she practiced. Oh my god, it is. Also, that should be an S. Just saying. It's the one that I haven't read before. Oh my god! Can 
get out of my head, 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 get